Hello everyone, this is Anyone Simi here and welcome back to Let's Play Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Launch. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of that. I'm so sorry. Last time we destroyed Odessa base, but we've just now learned about this red comet. This game plays fast and loose with the timeline and does not show when Amuro and Shark first meet. This makes a lot of things awkward. Because, like, what? Immediately head for Hayato because Hayato is going to get himself killed. Kai can at least take care of himself for a little bit because he didn't get there. They didn't land near him first. Though, however, don't take too long. So, you need to try and quickly deal with these guys. And once the guard lands, eliminate the guard. Now let's, now let's move. So awkward. Annoyingly, we can't actually recover Kai, unlike in almost every other Dynasty Warriors game game that we know know that we know of now, where there's some way to recover your allies. This game does not have that. This was for then. There we go. Now let's move. And they are actually dropping from the goal, so we need to <laughs> He sounds so whiny. Guy sounds so whiny here. When he's not meant to. <laughs> It's something I will not give the English though. They did not do a good job for the original Gundam. The other, but it got, it's even worse than anime. I mean, there is a... There is so much of just... just so much just terribleness. Like... British Bright. Well, I do imagine Bright with a British accent. So in the, the way it's handled in Gundam is just terrible. Okay, now with that gone, the gods should be fleeing. The Zegok.
And then all the base all the base opens up. This is stupid. You're basically inviting the enemy to come in. Thankfully, since we saved both of them, they, the enemy just refuses to try and attack them. So much time wasted just trying to get around. It's the one thing I don't like about these games. Thankfully, once we get to... When we get to Camille's story... We won't have that problem for half the time. We still have this problem for half of it, which is the problem. No more, no more enemies. Now let's run. Let's attack the second wave. And now pay attention to the map. Remember that marker, because we're heading right there. Find and destroy the unknown mobile suit. Use the unknown type. <laughs> <laughs> That makes no sense in the context of this game. In the context of the whole series, it makes sense. Also, he's still known as unknown type up there. Jesus, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> sure, we'll be getting to him later because he is a pilot in this game. Well, he's a pilot in every game. But you get what I mean? He's a pilot in the main story. In one of the main story. In his one main story. However, this is the only time you'll ever see him use this. The and you can't even pilot which until other games. This makes no sense. If you know the series. And with that, because of how heavy the next two missions are, I will actually have to call it here. Next time, on Dynasty Warriors Gundam, we will be uh, heading to Solomon, I believe. Yeah, Solomon area. Nereva is very, very well known in the community. And then we'll be heading to Boaku. See you guys then.